wonder you can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. We'll bring hell down from above. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. Are you ready to go, go, go? Pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. We'll make our stand. Yeah. Don't give a damn. Yeah. This is our time to go for Need to build up my calluses. I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Keep hitting those dingers, George. He'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure.
Peter Quill, Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. Arrested. If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. I am Groot. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacore ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. <sighs> Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. <laughs> What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Mmm. This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknoff 7. Oh, not again. Nice Gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. 
Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one. Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. <sighs> Oops. All right, not that one. Are you having difficulties, Peter Quill? There. And... we're in! Incredible. I didn't realize there was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, 
But that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quell, Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Thumper one, done. Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? <laughs> what, a pink coup? It's custom nano rest, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Take that, brittle stuff. <laughs> he is not a better shot than me. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth toxic. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. Peter Quill, the insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we planned to do. She is also quite contrarian. We talked about this on the Milano, Drax. Try harder. Okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. <laughs> the three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Flark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. That's why Green Thief's on the Milano. Heck of a lot more dangerous to fly around in here. Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, Groot, you think we can find pieces of the Tryon Shard in here? <laughs> you never heard of the Tryon Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. <laughs> How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Oh, uh, 
Watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Someone's been practicing. Ugh. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkers would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Scott stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Me and Groot could do pretty much whatever we wanted to do from here. I was making the best of a bad situation. You fall into another hole, Quilt? I'm, uh, assessing stuff. If all else fails, shoot something. I shot something, like you said. I've got a way forward. See? Never fails. Whoop! Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die! Aw, oh, hey, little guy. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? You dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal even without the con. Little busy! Sorry to burst your bubble! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. It is good to be doing physical labor again. Kind of hard to believe you were a farmer. I was a warrior. Working the soil can be as satisfying as battle. I am Groot. I really doubt pulling weeds is as good as pulling heists. Well, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we'll just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Yeah, scrubbing off all that nano resin would take forever, if it even comes off. Just trust me on this. It'll all be worth it in the end. Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right. Boom. Right under your nose, Quill. Gamora. 
When are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you will let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Ah, uh, flark bat! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. <laughs> of course there ain't any plants here. It's a junkyard. <laughs> plants grow where they got food. This place is nothing but scrap and nano resin. And no, they couldn't live off the coop. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! Woo! You're up! Bye bye, little guy! We're just killing party favors! in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys! We deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! We can modify her, I'd kill for a gunner's rotunda. We'll think about it. I'm Groot. Groot wants a plant. Groot, man! We will get you two plants. I'm Groot. Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs, <laughs> and boy can she run. She can hit too. There's always room for more firepower, Quill. That sentry probably took on whole fleets. This old Kree tech gets me wondering, where would I be now if those blue butt scots managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now.
I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. I am Groot. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. <laughs> you guys are... Bam! <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> I mean, with the units he'll owe me once I win. Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! Uh, you know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating! Alright, Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that! Hit him down, Groot! Oh yeah! I'm gonna murderize the lot of ya! That is not the word! Wrap him up, bud! Lock and low, Brook! <laughs> At least they make a good splat! It is indeed, Sersley! Nice splatter, Rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Sure I can! Hey, green team! Looks like we're done installing our thumpers! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. I am Groot. That's cause you keep calling it gooey stuff. It's nano resin. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Come in, green team. We've got eyes on the mining ship. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See, I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. <sighs> Rocket? Oh, fuck. Nice jump! Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a chug. Come on, Quill. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. Fuck. His radio must have broke when he fell. Rocket knocked an old shipwreck off balance and we lost Groot. What? Is he hurt? I didn't do nothing. It fell on its own. And Groot's fine. Team Rocket out. Why'd you have to go and tell Green Team the accident's my fault? Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure. Fine. Hey, Gamora, did you really chop up the Shatari Queen? Hmm, where'd you hear that? Around. 
I didn't kill it. I kidnapped it. That was you. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ship's on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our temper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. Cap, 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 cap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! Hope I don't tear my pants! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Oh, crap! Ah! 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 No! Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw this. Great timing! How did you guys- Good to see you two. We're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Drax incoming! Watch out! What? Supernova! Is it broken? Uh, overload, it sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Uh, come on! Clark and tensor joint! Just neat! Uh, wiggle the... Uh. Okay, so life support going back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bomb. It's just... old cleaner bots maybe old cleaner bots you don't know <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
okay, buddy? <sighs> Sorry about the shooting. Yeah. Thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. It just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. I am good. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. So, Groot, you run into any trouble getting into the rig? Look at this old beauty. I am Groot. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Come hey. on, Quill. Put them pea shooters to good use so we can squeeze in there. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. I'll cover your back. Uh, seems a little wobbly. Guys, hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Ugh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys, I'm not alone down here! Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! Right in the face, thing! Man, Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket, finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise. Find you. Drax? Drax! Weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Hello? Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind! This thing refuses to die! I can barely scratch it! But harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! Hey. Go on ahead, then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. 
I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try some... Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you moved. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, flog. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. There is a distinct sensation navigating this wreck. Katathians call it the Shadow's Gaze. Now that you mention it, I have felt like I was being watched. Perhaps our prey is stalking us. I say, let it come. Whoa! Careful! Oh, fuck it! Well, you got some time and we got company! Is this from the last thumper? We haven't even placed it yet! This place is falling with monsters! They are food for our quarry and will not be far away! I'm just focused on not becoming food ourselves! Guys, huddle up! Feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us! And yet, we cannot retreat! No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill! Fork darts on the field, danger on all sides! Then it's time we stand and face it, and make sure they're nullified! Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead! Who's with me? Victory is ours! Yes! Get some! What are you offering, Peter Quill? Time's up! Do you think that your maker? You did not know the lyrics. Hit on a quibble! Blitz him, Rocket! Rax, shut him down! You got this! We we'll told you we could do Peter this! Smith never had it down! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. I am good. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. It's almost insulting. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! 
Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Oh. Our monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you! That's one of us to die behind. Good thing it's close. Well. Don't want to run behind. But it can still run. Gotta be some way to slow it down. Let's see those branches! Lark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Guys, seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! No place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Cracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! Now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through! Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin! Don't you get go on my ship! My ship! Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sardu. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! You want me to take the controls? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa! Look, yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! Let's start on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hold stretch! Go relax, breath! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from... Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hallows 
Hope. Uh, did you say Hell is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? <laughs> hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corell. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... Really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corell. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be her boarding party. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. 
know, she, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be... I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Raker. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, right, Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say me? Quill never no. mentioned the daughter. You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. You sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. As Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, 
This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another glass door. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots would be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news. And some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me blow out this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? Yes, ma'am. Easy does it. There, see? They don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. That Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. It gives them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. I want to show you something. This way. This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. Is this your mom single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Almost finished. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. 
He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. The Universal Translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey! Secret stuff! Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in the elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she- Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Some No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint. Or... There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. 
too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level six access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hack them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters, and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> so, rough day, huh? Loading shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, Part of me was excited, at first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed at all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Uh, um, OK, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we... Don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. OK. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, 
We're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space Dad? 
Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, who said you... I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. <sighs> what we didn't know... What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard her die, Quill. Ah, oh, the rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Sorry, you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge! Sure thing, Mom Lord. So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! We shall see. Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Root, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush.
Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm Groot. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. 
And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. <sighs> so, got any ideas to get those units together? You have investments. <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out and I do stuff. Perhaps we are somewhat alike. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this Flarkin fine. Groot! Are you done in there? Me and Musclehead could use some input. I am Groot. What do you mean a minute? You've been in there for ages. I have noticed that the tree is very meticulous about grooming. <laughs> You don't say. He made me snip off the shoots on his back the other day. Nobody cares that they were poking out, you big dandy. Hmm. What if we contacted one of the assassin's disreputable sources? She don't really mean that. What were you saying? One of those informants is bound to be of value to Novacor. You want to sell out one of them? Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly. Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out my on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I Star will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird. No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous- No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. 
Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course, it had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Let's face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen. <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen. Oh! 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 That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keyword live. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. Whoa! I ever mention how much I hate being last? Yes! Yeah. 
should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rose. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Woo! Show them your will. I was getting bored anyway. I must reluctantly agree. monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? When all else fails, shoot stuff. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Drax. You can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. All right, rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. What the fuck? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done! Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Do you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Hey, this lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we'll have to start showing us some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. <laughs> what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside... It was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Place of the Flark and Maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. 
And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. No! That's just the name. This jungle is majestic. And everything's trying to kill you in a way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> It'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah. okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of sharks! Scut busting ass! Blatters. I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. You can run, you free bagging flarkles! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, dashed face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want ten. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again, keep oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> Fireworks! Anyone else notice this place looks like a graveyard? Focus on not becoming part of one! Deadliest woman in coming! Any last words? I look forward to our next encounter! I will face all the pain of the Don't forget, we're selling one of those beasts! Rocket! Go wild! Enough of these inferior creatures. I yearn for the monster. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flark are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. All right, come on. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units as it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her... Gamora, am I cutting us a path? You say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. I'm just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B. Oh, just go. No, you just no, go. No, go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. <gasps> what the war? The 
Groot says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Running away. With that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. Let's scale this mountain. Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? Good question. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. I need another boost. What this would you do good. without? Count on me. Surprised this thing hasn't been picked clean for salvage. See anything useful up there? First a down resistance ship, now a Nova Corps one. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And it's pretty gunked up. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero who didn't get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. That. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Club. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. I'm just saying it shouldn't take this long to get to her. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. No giant monster. All good. Probably what do you think here. Made this place worth fighting over. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. 
Middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. So this brings back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Whoa! You gotta see this ship! Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Slime. Even the Chitauri feared her. Uh, they didn't fear many guys. Back then. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Son of a schmack, reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Flark, flark, flark. Uh. Quill. Quill. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scud like this. Just come to just please the guns alone. Let me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA coding on the next some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. Ice Cube! That's fun! We're so happy for you and your guns, Quill! Oh, you rocket! Yeah, I guess I owe Quill one! One! Ruth! Hawkeye time! Crack! Boy! Death has come! We're close, but we're gonna...
gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. For the record, I killed 4,675 Chitauri during the war. You count it. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its broodmother, Lady Helba. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Helga, that made guess. He would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. You're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Not talking to you. Not even breathing. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I think the smell's coming from that wall here. There's gotta be something behind it. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> <sighs> I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food? Your taste, but the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste, we go into but... that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Ready? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed.
less rain. Then jelly. Then slimy, stinky crawl spaces. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. That thing heavy quilt. Well, surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching wool. <laughs> Neat. Don't get any ideas. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady A? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that... Let's just get this done. Farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the flarkin'. Looking like we need business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly, the rodent is I the one. I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Just 
want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of life, stop counting clicks. Could enumerate all ways to chop flat, You don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Maybe he says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. 
Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'm not a little kid, Ma. I walk home from school all the time. And yesterday it got you that black eye. I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. So what, now you're too old for gifts? Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. I want you home right after the movie. Stop by the arcade for a bit. Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. Aw, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right?
As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his part solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else, can you explain that again? Uh. After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Uh, yeah, that. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen a Wathos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. The worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! All right, Gamora, looks like you're up. Makes sense. What? Like Scud she is. Look, Rocket, let's compromise. We'll use your tracker, but we'll all go. Fine, whatever. The Galeran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I know what you meant. Do not claim you are free. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. Got this.
Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of them. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. Such flesh. <laughs> Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. Unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. A Flora Colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... Then you're an idiot, lady! Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you wanna buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not enough. that bad for a Flora... whatever. Deal. Twelve thousand units it is. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. You guys were supposed to wait for me. You took too 
along. I was establishing an alibi. You were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot and us. to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there. So we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. Perform feats of virility and are judged worthy or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Vat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me. This baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Not in love with the whole track and groove thing, if I'm honest. What's the big deal? I got tabs on the lot of you. I think not. Think again, lady. You're right. 67 clicks away. Is that the Milano? You're lucky I didn't shove it up. No stalking teammates without their consent. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Wolverine. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay, Tracker says... Ah, come on. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Uh, the Signorfian night air is refreshing. Smells like eggs. Burnt hair. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Come on, buddy. Do something. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just, uh... Groot ain't moving or nothing. Perhaps he is asleep. He's probably just in a cage. Just in a cage? Give her the old laser eyes, Quill. See if you can spot a power source or something. Drax, think you could lift this thing? Easily. What do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. It'll look better in orbit. Certainly. Or shall Maybe I move it? there's some stairs. There are several stairs. I mean stairs down to Groot. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's not perfectly good if we can't get it working. Then we better get it working. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. 
All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. Perhaps Lady Hellbender operates the elevator with her mind. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take much to impress you. Okay, this one goes here, and that one goes out! You okay? Yeah, yeah, you just focus up. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Her voice does not convey certainty. Sit. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. Kinda nice for a change. Please. You get bored if it was all smooth sailing. Remember the cargo run for the Hanchi? I remember you nearly jumping us into a black hole. Where's my point? The exciting bits are what stick with you. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You look sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. The rodent is more irritable than usual. He didn't want us to sell Groot. Or did I? The tree was an inferior choice. We got paid, didn't we? Now just a matter of us all getting out of here in one piece. Rocket, wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Rocket, we found him! Over here! Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey, let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It was too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Last witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, twin hope tells. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has. I don't know. Traumatized him. Exactly. Hey, come on, big guy. Don't just clam up. I told you, it should have been me in that box. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Taratara. Hey, come on. Talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Ooh. Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. 
Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Nice Quill. one, Peter! Time to bl Don't let it heal, Quill! Danger close, Rocket! No! Not again! Enough toying with them! End this! Alright! Crowd control! Don't forget about the big one! Beware the spine protrusions! Don't have to tell me twice! How does it feel, Corvor? Perish! Bob's old are heating up! <laughs> Get it? Yeah! They need to steal it!
Bring me Nasha! Everybody grab a bike! And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 one problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge, mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really want to go. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sent the board, and there was a fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't know the Raker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, I'm yeah, right. keep your star pants on. I was right. I'll go check the array. I'm bring her back. I just have to... It's just an array. Just an array? Look at it, Quilt. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. You are right to be worried about the broken communications array, Rodent. 
Gamora, did you find... Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So you... So... Why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff, too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think, I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Corral is probably monitoring this ship, waiting to see if we make the right choice. Okay, Corral, get ready to be impressed. You made the right call. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing it. All right, let's pay that fine. So, what should we do with the leftover money after we pay off the cops? I say we get a landing assist program. There won't be much left, but we should use it to get intel on our next contract. We should use it to acquire food. Yeah, Drax wins. Yes. <clears throat> Anything but Yara Root. So, after we get out of here... You mean, if... Rocket'll come around, just... Try not to eat anything else, okay? Hey, wanna take bets on if Quill's gonna get back with Cop Lady? This reminds me of when I surrendered to the authorities. What was it like? Liberating. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paint, we get Novacor to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. Too many seats, not enough butt. M ship, designation Milano. Move to holding space R734 PL. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. Let's just focus on the find. They need to remove that tracker thing anyway. If there's one scratch, on if there's any scratches, I'll buff them out myself. That I gotta see. You know, it does seem kind of extra empty around here. Good. The fewer cops we gotta talk to, the better. 
Your suspicion of law enforcement is itself suspicious. Forgive me if I don't like taking orders from a giant space computer. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? I'm We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look! The door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can... Keep shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. Any chance they're all just on break? I am Groot. Groot says the kiosk still says open. I say it ain't our problem. Perhaps we simply need to wait our turn. Highly doubt it. Perhaps this is a test to see if we will respect the bureaucratic process. Well, newsflash, I don't. And if they want their money, they better hurry up and come and take it. You gold domes hear me? I don't like this. We really do need to get that door open. Hey, I can crack it, but the panel's over there and we're stuck here. Have you checked the other rooms, Peter? Ain't this the way? Never a space cop when you need one. I'd settle for a desk clerk. I'd settle for us leaving a note and getting the flark off this rock. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. Shut your mouth! We're supposed to be leaving! Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Alright, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Could, sure. Or maybe it drops down into the hangar. One open air duct. Now we have damaged Novacore property. Eh, just a little. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. But I gotta say, messing with some Novacore tech ain't a bad consolation prize. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm patching you through. You know the drill. Tell me which circuits to switch. We can only reroute power to so many things at once. On it! Watch and learn. That's a door. The wrong door. Hey, hey! It's a bathroom! Anybody gotta go? We'll there find you go, out. buddy. Free soda. I will not add theft to our list of charges. Lock and hey, that sort of worked. The blast door is going to need some extra juice. See if there's another power button. Watch and learn. Poor Peter. Sorry, sorry. I'm not much of an electrician. Presto. What out? You know. Ta-da. That is no more clear. Doors open. Conspicuously silent. Good point. What are they doing? Scanning each other. Flark to find out why, though. They're acting bonkers. It ain't spooky. Huh? That big haunted house on Dervani was spooky. There. You hear that? Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Hey, I'm half thing. Remember? I did not. So we're just going to ignore all that racket? We don't need to get dragged into someone else's problems right now. At least we agree on that. Now this place brings back memories. You once served with the Novacore, did you? What? No! 
But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. There's something bothering me. <sighs> Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. Perhaps the sentient space computer summoned all Novacore back to Zandar. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Maybe the station got hit? I hear there's still Shatari remnants who like to attack underprotected Nova spots. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh crap! How have we not run into a single Nova Core? Ooh, spooky. Hello? Do we really want to pay this fine and go back to being. Babies. Oh, you were too. Are these Centurion armor? Yup. Feel free to try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mine. Are you saying the world mine has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the Bugs tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't have. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for getting chopped at two just so you could make your, your girlfriend proud. It is more likely that the door would repeatedly crush your tiny bones. I bet I could take a Centurion. I went one-on-one -on -one with a Millennium, you know. Centurions are tougher. Tougher? That's it. I want details. Perhaps the assassin can dart through while the door is open. Do I look like an idiot? This room is austerely presented. It must be a great honor to become a centurion. To say the least. Ah, no wonder the door is all sorted out. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. More nothing! There's gotta be an explanation. The House Hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Vormirian pox. I am experiencing a mild itching sensation. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Groot. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. Promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Se uh, hey there. Sing on. 
We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corral. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corral to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh... In some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Ah, uh, it's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corral? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am Groot. Come. All will be made clear. What do you mean there's no Centurion Corral? Her ship's literally docked outside. I understand your confusion. We will set your tumultuous souls at ease. Come, Guardians of the Galaxy. We will take you to the Hallow's Hope. Then you too can have faith. We should return to the ship. Yep. I am Groot. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and that all sounds super great. It's just, sorry, what's your name again? You may refer to me as Carlos. Right, right, Carlos. Listen, we really need to pay our fine. Um, then we can go on our way, you can go on your creepy Temple of Doom way. It's a win-win for everyone. Perhaps. Have you embraced her divine promise? Hmm. Only if I get her consent first. For the promise to be made real, all living beings must accept it completely. Come, have faith. Peter Quill, we cannot return the way we came. All right, change your plans. Let's take these freaks to church. Well, and our fine. I don't see that matters now. With that door, Flark, we gotta go out the way they came in. So expect more of them purple freaks. Yeah. What was with that weird glow they had? Sorcery. Virus. Well, we better hope it ain't contagious. Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if she don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Oh, Looks like a standoff. Was a standoff. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? There's your answer. Oh, man. This is bad. We're sitting down. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of... Boys! Oh! Clark and Meathead, nice knowing ya! Peter! Has everyone gone nuts? Bend oh! your knees to the land! Not much we can do about it now. The others do not know what they are missing! Next time, pour me before you do something like that! I knew only Pop that I would do it once one guy. it was done! This is what you get for Throw that tracks!
not think our fine would be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corell's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corell, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop loving human! I approved! Come on! Seriously, Corell? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! I prefer the rodent's plan. So try. Is there any... Why the scut would we want to do that? There could be survivors aboard. Or more of those... Whatever their deal is. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano and... Intruders reported in the repair bay. And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said all cycle. Intruders in C junction! Safety's off! I prefer an our last encounter with Nova Force! I thought this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this, but it's a start. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. Hey, we can get through here. You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corell took her ship back to Xandar to report. <laughs> Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flow to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Nice to see you listening for a change. You cannot see you listening. Don't you start with me, muscles. You're still mostly in my good books. I am Groot. Who says I can't? This is his fault. In fact, I'm done talking to him. To who? You! Too late. Huh? Groot, tell Mr. One More Room him and me are done. I am Groot. Fine. Quill, Groot says you and me are done. This is not productive to our egress from this station. So, you think... Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's gotta get us out of here. Scott, can nothing go easy? Yeah. Ah. Huh. 
me! Push down the smart bombs! Man, and I thought normal Centurions were bad! Just be glad there's no Centurions! I wasn't second-guessing, I'm just... Sure. These doors have been barricaded. Means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Gamora's right. At least I hope she is. They can't all be dead. They ain't. Most of them switched sides. I mean, some of them must have escaped. You were referring to your former lover and the child. I've got to believe Corral was on that ship. Yeah, well, believing don't make it so. <sighs> what would make Nova turn on Nova? All right, hanging here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4 PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. I am Groot. No, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4 PL, done. All right, bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape her light. Careful. There's treachery ahead. Let us deal with these rebels! Focus on the clamps, Peter! We'll try to keep them off of you! Think these guys would mind getting out of the way? One down! Wrap them up, bud! should set course for Contraxia. Lay bare our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? 
The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Hey, Drax. You alright? You must be feeling pretty crap about having to punch through all those cops back on the station. Uh, do not worry. I simply need some time to get my thoughts in order. Right. Never thought we'd have to fight Nova Corps. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Nova Corps officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me. He's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? I do not, and I suspect the small one would not have shared this information. He seemed angrier than usual when you asked for his crafting expertise. Yeah, he was pissed off all right. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I can't wait to see. I think I miss nowhere this much. 
attachment we feel to certain places and people are sometimes unexplainable. That's surprisingly profound, Drax. What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Apologize? To him? No way! If anything, he should apologize to me. We agreed to build this team together, and he just decides to run off when it gets... when things don't... Let's just find Cosmo. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xander to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. <laughs> Nexus, what are you... Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's... That's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh, he... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making my face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green moon. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? 
Hard cover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. Something's up with no... <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. <laughs> Looks like you've got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Corps Disabler. 7, 8, 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work no matter what. <laughs> and you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great. Thanks. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? Do you believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom won the, uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. They just... Shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Ultaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. And that failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. So that's why you come up here? Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No, no. Not at all. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom, in heaven, got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah. Uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. 
But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to quell fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Peter Quill. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven. What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Because everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Darren. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, uh, I'll triple it! Yeah, then I'm wrong. Just talk about this. Scrawny little Terran is scared. Gonna snap him in there. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well. That sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter! Shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! To the bone! They've had this trap ready for a while! We're gonna be the lady's favorites! Oh, <laughs> 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 
miss us? This has got my name on it! Do not fall on your foot, Peter Quill! Man back together! The battle against the missiles is exactly the bomb my soul requires! This destruction is just what I need! We'll mop the floor with the intro! Be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back.
sick. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Miserably. We at will. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of the league now. No, no, no. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm -mm. Friends will be breaking us out. Hey, so this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Plenty of wish we Cosmo, did. Cosmo, are you out be there? Be silent. Cosmo! Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Reckon Lady H will get us out of here then? I reckon someone will. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. I am brute. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! The little butter just scratched me! Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cramped Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. 
You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of. I'm roughing that too. I mean, man. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times. I'm not a roughing animal. What were you talking about? You rough. <laughs> This. Where are we? You would have been still on Norway. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about... <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo. Get Biscuit's Peter Queen. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction, so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no Ooh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sound. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> That's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin god. Let us investigate the Hallis Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. And we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind with bull. What guardian of galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship. My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. So where are we 
going exactly? To original settlement. From early days. Before Kiva could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned. Mostly. Entirely restored. Uh. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting my component. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcast same signal as Novorog. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I know you do. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. But scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for claws. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. Aw, oh, is the puppy mad? So, what is this, like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! Some witchcraft is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please, to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. His time. Investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am good. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between uh, realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Oh. Avengers! Assemble! <laughs> what kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will fight. No. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud of you. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, look! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on, you're dating for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Okay, here we go! Whoa! Oh, no, Lark. You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, 
Tell Scutlord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The Beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many Flarkin questions and get us down from here. Have you checked the wall, Peter? Any day now, Peter. Yes, our investigation cannot continue until we exit this room. Might be just what we need. Found some kind of battery. Looks undamaged. Could be useful. Someone tell Scott Lord to hold on to it. Hold on to it, Peter Quill. Dog report item. Who the flark are you talking to? I am making mental notes of the investigation. It seems pertinent that a number of escape pods are missing. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Ugh, fine. I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Either one? It's not brain uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! You touch the green thing, did it, you? Clarkin' great, well! Everybody, just hold on! Oh, was not restored. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what- <sighs> Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation for the dog. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. I am Groot. Groot's right. Should move if we give it a jolt. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what we found so far? What do you mean a code word? Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. Yep. Sure thing, buddy. Dog report item. Something caused Novacore to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. Was that a crack? This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. That'll do it. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. All the blaster scorch marks are from standard issue Nova rifles. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. 
Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the Churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova Passkey? Nikki gave it to me, to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. Kind of reminded me of me, you know? I do not know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. I wonder if they'll find anything. Like a way to turn the power back on. Or some kind of hint to what happened. Oh no. Please don't. Do you know this maintenance worker, Peter Quill? No. You seem relieved. I am. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already! Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. At the time, you have since proved yourself a worthy guy. Here's the deal. We figure out what is going on here, and then we can figure out how to work better together. So, just ignore the obvious while it's inconvenient? Yes. First thing we do when we get back on the Milano is have a big talk. Pinky swear. That is the we- No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Eh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or, uh, de-invert... de-vert? Rocket. Uh, the console safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. It is time. Here it comes. For Peter Quill's mask to guide us with its mysterious power. Ain't nothing mysterious about it. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost. Of course. Yeah. Definitely something up here. Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Why? For the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? 
that you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Clark! Orgy clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Clark has de-re-inverted the core again! Just have to re-de-re-invert it back! After we take some heads! Rex, don't... Guys, huddle up! This battle could be over, traitor, if you would leave the bludgeoning to me! Not my fault you're slower than my sword. You're both slow. Fifty units as me and Groot can mow them all down without you. I am Groot. Whoa, 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 guys! Y'all keep saying you're better than the rest, like a dance competition where the losers fail the test. Well, those scut plugs on the field only want to take us out. So if we don't dance together, this whole fight will be around. Who's with me? Wu-Tops Fields must wait! You said... Quill, watch it! Bruce, slow him down! Mitsa! It was never me, and it wasn't gonna be me! Must have missed the defense against... Oh, oh. It's all you, Gamora! Drax! Kick their force! in this now! Definitely not! Alright, let's get those clamps off so we can keep moving. I will tear them from their sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead. But this time, we've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit, so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Yeah. We're aiming for big, glowing lines routing back towards the clamps in the middle. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. The clamps are unclamped. Slick. Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. Must be important to their effort here. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. And then get back to Cosmo for our reward. All right, this is our floor. These doors are sealed tight. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Yay. I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? 
That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quilt saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these Franklin Gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know! It looks like it's siphoning something! Something to do with those cubes? No, no! I gotta get a closer look! Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before! Dog report item. Massive device siphoning energy from Contraxia. What the floor? Groot! We need to check out that giant raid thing! Can you get us across? Dog report item! We gotta destroy this thing! We don't even know what it is! Plus, we'd probably end up taking out the entire ship! And us with it! Compiling an extensive dog report. Ah, flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. There's trouble on the ship. Big, loud trouble. Give specifics. Nova Corps has gone bananas. There was a battle, but uh oh. What is uh oh, Piotr oh. Quinn? Something just came up. We'll call you back. Your experience fighting Centurions will be ah! Check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, same way me and Nikki went last time we were here. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped after her, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. We should hurry. More zealots could arrive at any moment. The hole we saw should be on the other side of these moving batteries. Gonna need to find a way to stop them. Start looking around. Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Poor Contraxia. Drax, gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. Whoever did this is industrious. That seemed like a wasted effort. All plans need steps to succeed. Ugh, what new age drivel have you been reading? We need to stop the batteries from moving, Peter. If we had the Milano, I could drag one of these battery things aboard. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. I just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. I still do not understand what could lead to all this. Some kind of mutiny, but it doesn't add up for me either. Dog the Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. 
I hate you all. Okay, Groot. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. What kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone? The kind that should probably stay quarantined. It grumbles more incessantly than a Catathian without breakfast. We really need to get you something to eat. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. I wonder how many other worlds are getting pummeled by one of them things. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. If only one is dead. We're not betting on this. Because you know you'd lose. Because it's not appropriate. How's it not appropriate? Because Peter Quill is not emotionally equipped to deal with death. Okay, A, we're all too broke to bet. B, I am super emotionally equipped. And C, they're not dead! Whoa, watch out! You okay? Brute says we should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry. What? You feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. Does not look taken care of to me. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. Ah. <sighs> Of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. Glorious! There! Breezy peasy! Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, more death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Are you sure it's why we ended up together? I do not suck. Point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. As long as we're clear on the you sucking part. Clear as day. <laughs> you sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Here. This is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. D 
did Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Rocket, you got the body of a little girl. Can you fit in there? Try again, Quill. Ask him nicely, Peter. I'm concerned for Nikki's safety, okay? I'm worried she might be hurt or scared or... I don't know what. Can you please see if she's in there? See? Was that so hard? I don't see no kid. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby-trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming her stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill! You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait Is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is twelve, and Quill was with the- Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Should be a way to Corell's office through those pipes on the left. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. So, any new ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing to Contraxia? A few. None of them good. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you. She's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Watch out, Bree! Let's see that! Channel your newfound paternal energy, Peter Blue! If being a dad makes him fight better, then I'm all for it! This battle was satisfactory! Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corral's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Next stop, Corral's office. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. The prospect of maybe being a dad is a little scary. 
A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. It is the essence of fatherhood. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. Nikki? Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Ah, appealing. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corral never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. This does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki will be hanging from the wall. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corel have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corel said we shouldn't be doing this... He was being literal. Oh, wow! The Cree have comic books? I am surprised. The Cree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. What's the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Hey, Quill. You interested in seeing this or not? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where... I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. It means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge to try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. <laughs> Okay, you're definitely a dog 
Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So, how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless he broke it. I didn't break it. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the poop ain't picking up? Keep trying. Man, what I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. I have never understood how so much information could be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the Nexus control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. Locked. I wonder, though. I think he really didn't want her mom to know about this passkey she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. we're in! You're kidding. Well? Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. I've heard of this guy. What is it with you, Humies, and your stupid name? So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. You? <laughs> A gold dome? Over my dead body, buddy. You know? For a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Do you know this Terran, Peter Quill? Look. It's Trax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Why does this guy seem familiar? Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow. Your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. There gotta be something in here. Hey. 
Wasn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. When's the footage from? Signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a lotus scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices. Yeah. I had to check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier, Breaker, right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Okay, that is really not cool. What do you mean he's not picking up? Come! The Matriarch awaits. Scythian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? <sighs> can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna- Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. 
So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter's constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch, the divine vessel, I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him! What? <laughs> Come. Join me! If I intended to kill you, Wow, oh, oh, okay, that, uh, that is a cool trick. Will explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even! Sacrosanct herself, all powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um. You, uh. You, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh. control energy? Faith. Energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this... Uh, uh, hold on a sec. You, uh, um, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a, uh, you have something on your face. My what? D yeah, it's like this golden, oily thing on your, you know, face. I was disfigured during an explosion. One of the many tragedies for which I blame him. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No, <laughs> no. no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your fascinating account of... What did you mean when you said them just now? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And... Could you maybe talk some more about him? I was talking about him. The healer who could not reverse the death of my son! You! Get off that now! Back with the others! What? I was just admiring- Silence! It's time to meet the Matriarch. So, we gotta summon the Milano. Now, if you kept Grand Unicorn talking, I could answer that. Now we gotta look for a comm relay station. Ridiculous. The ship is exceptionally spacious. Yeah, well, maybe we can ask Quill's girlfriend for directions after she's warped her brains. Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking.
baby. As requested, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but... Aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But... This is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. That's how. I knew you would never leave me. I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did 
Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you. But you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. <laughs> That's your first mistake, Mrs. Quill. We've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for grandkids, Peter. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you? Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? I believe you still have this. The craftsmanship is shoddy at best. Be nice, Drax. Peter tried. I'm blocking starving. Rocket. Language. I know exactly what you said. And I won't have any stuff like that in my. <laughs> You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe... Let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. Peter. What are you doing? I don't understand. I love you, Peter. What did I do? Please. 
Now, Peter. While it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. She needs her help. Time. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? What the hell? This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today! Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, no, no, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. So can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector. And then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick, is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. So, that just leaves the cake and the present. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Hey, you still have Chewie? Yeah, he's captain of the Milano now. Really? Well, congrats, I guess. Is this your hat? You gave it to me, remember? Oh, right. I do not remember this. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others! Great! The gift! Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. What's going on? It's a 
Surprise! Peter? What are you two... No! <clears throat> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw... I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Out of here! No! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! This is wrong! Dark in my games! I'm gonna puke! Puke later! Focus on Raker! Save him from death! Make your maker! Breezy targets down here. How do we get out? You should have bought me more time with that drone. Now we gotta go in blind and hope we can find a comm center to call the Milano. We'll figure it out. Anybody see a way up? Careful! I see a way up. How thoughtful. Scott, Scott, Scott! Ah! 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 Go 
That's bad. That's very bad. We need an exit. There ain't one. Then make one. Drax, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Because we're about to die. Right. Come on, we can escape through that drain. Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa! What the Drax! Drax, man, uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingling. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think we reached the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier sent Lictor drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Still fuming about the Grand Unicorn hitting us with a cheap shot and then running away. Rax, got any ideas? When all else fails, use muscle. What are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You two know the way out, right? I would have if you guys had bought me more time with that drone. It's gotta be through one of them doors. Which one? Well, we know it ain't the one we just came through. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got this. Hey, look! These idiots don't see us yet. No time to stand around fighting these goons. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nick. You mean the faster we find the Milano? We're not leaving her. Well, try them doors. I'm on it. Relax, bud. We'll find a way out. To get out of here! Agreed! We are needed elsewhere! Please be the right door! What's next, Peter? What? Where are we? Something's wrong with the big guy! Damn! Trial and error, people! Dead end. Now what? Up there! That catwalk's our way out. If we can get across that gap. Flark, we got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy. Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. Just hang on. That pillar's top heavy. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the scut, man? Drax! What? Was that headed for Doom? That was our... Doesn't matter. We've got an exit. Let's go! We should keep moving. <sighs> this doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this... some kind of torture chamber? Peaceful. Hey, uh, are you okay? I might as well be back on Half World. 
Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scud. The Cree scientists told them we were chosen, and they tailed the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... Lila. Can't stand looking at her. Let's get the flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Maybe I'd have an answer if you people hadn't botched my plan. So, that's a no. Big ship like this has got to have multiple comm centers. We'll find one. I hope. Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Or take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. Well, how can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> we'll all be gone. What did you see? I am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. There was something else there too. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know she's the rocket sky dog. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. All right. Let's split, before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just... don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. Peter, there's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. 
That drone's still hunting us. Somebody want to patch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hello? Yeah. Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. Is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my. Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? Whatever that is, it's really close. This is far. There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. Then we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! No good. It's just like Raker's shield. Keep them busy, crew! There is power here! Yeah, no, Scott! He's trying to kill us! Just stuck to what we're good at. And what's that? Con jobs, smuggling, and heists. If the church keeps growing, we would have run into them eventually. Okay, let's see what we can do with this gun. Come on. Come on. You sure you could? Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was. No! Oh! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the shield. What the scut? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! They're trying to trap us here!
Guys, huddle up! I cannot fight beside you any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Cloak, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guys! These insults you keep tossing around? Are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? Today, I it's am the destroyer! Fun. Feel him? Rock it! Go wild! Drive him up, Bruce! Make a crawl out of the woodwork! Bait tech! Uh, let them come! Find Bruce is down! Let's run it for good! Load up, Rocket! 
Watch out! They're coming from all sides! Get onto another one of those death traps! You wanna stay on this one? Good point! Where's the shield? I don't know! It ain't working! Gonna have to do without it! They're on us again! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! got a big story here. A lot of people would probably pay a lot of money for the inside scoop. I am Groot. Of course they need to know, but that don't mean we can't make some units in the process. We earned them. Groot! Slow Smart. down! Well, I swear to Scott, if you let them shoot me in the ass... Don't worry, we've got you covered, man. Sure don't feel like it! Making sure work of these cultist creeps! These deluded souls do not know when to don't quit! Don't want to rush you, but... Hey, stop rushing me! Must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? 
What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. <laughs> Harsh? Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. What? Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat, call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart, you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? 
There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... We can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? I am Groot! Shoo, shoo. Move over. <coughs> what are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> Shoo, flock off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. Anything yet? I am Groot. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time, but Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must action. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Fire! 
<laughs> These guys have really bad timing. Another problem for our pile of problems. Feel free to show up, Quilt. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are fine as you. Never heard of him. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. You okay in there, Cat? Stay still and I'll show you. Ah, neat. Yeah, I don't think the scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under siege. You know, contractors. We're contractors. Ooh, right up the exhaust port. Just kill them already! There's an art to this! Ha! Quill just tried the kill spleen to the deadliest woman in the galaxy! Oh. I am Clary, warrior of... <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut! I doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Girl needs a tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, group. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, everything. Flark you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but can no resources, resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Great idea! Let's report something we're gonna do, and blame it on some other schmuck. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mine will be listed there. After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! The allocation of resources for direct communication, communication with us has been denied. We, we apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Groot. Groot wants us to report a crime, which is just wrong. Seriously wrong. I what do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? It's got two friends right there. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes. Haha, <laughs> not today. 
Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As, As all, all prisons are being evacuated, evacuated, you may self sequester wherever you wish. Hey, Warberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. Your crippling indecision vexes me, Peter Quill. Choose! Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. no. Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, systems converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mine has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. Is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. It can be stopped. Maybe not by us. But you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The, the resistance, resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And, and not before the Shatari had destroyed our home world and decimated our people. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should have run when we had the chance. We have already processed 12,472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. That is a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Ain't you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. Where would you even go? Please understand. That we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tail. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bullennia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons, the Church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot, we cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the Church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do, do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We, we recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your, your emotional state, state is not our primary, primary concern. 
We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So no one? We are, we are pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> you know what? Screw this. Cancel payment. Peter! What? It's not like Nova Corps is gonna come after us. They're leaving. Exactly. They're leaving. That was our only chance to get this disabler off the Milano. We can't escape the church with a locked ship. Who cares? By the time it activates, we'll already either be converted or dead. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flocking water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, Ooh. yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed guys, anyway. Guys, 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 guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. 
Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. And the bed smells. Great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go. <laughs> Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Supposed to 
be here. We have to face our fears. Good responsibility. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! You're supposed to be a hero. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! We can't keep running away from our problems. No! This is all wrong! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! No! This is all wrong! We can't keep running away from our problems. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. Take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Huh. <sighs> We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. <sighs> Locked. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. 
The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy can we chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Good, then let's go find our friend. At least we all managed to get some rest. Speak for yourself. I barely had time to fix the engines before Drax locked me in. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flock in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! This stuff is gross! Uh, uh, kidding me? Uh, wet fur is the worst! Rocket! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax! Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great. They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles. Pacifists, that's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Kree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Uh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Uh, found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Midrack? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Wait. Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend her, lost! Brock, get a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Guys, 
How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omvad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in! What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the matriarch's lies. And it's watch out! Double floor! Whew! Hollis didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Whoa! This is really unstable. Fuzzy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Come on, Rocket. 
little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. I yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone and all the wrong ways. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Yo, geniuses. This thing above me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Try your blasters, Peter. Gamora, I need another boost. Again, Peter? The priests never talk much about these caves. Oh, they wouldn't. Way too dangerous down here. Unseen forces, ominous machinations, unknowable energies. There's a reason the Kotati guard the entrance. Uh, of course there is. trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? of those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. What the fuck? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. The head case ain't I'm even thinking talking no. galactic anymore. What do you think, Quill? New best friends? Uh, maybe not. Get him down, Blue! Please! <laughs> I feel like a matador! Jack would say, it is not a mad orador! Oh, I remember this part. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right, I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave! <laughs> Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. 
And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. I am Groot. Yes, caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. Galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? Finally, the place of a thousand lives. Gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. You get us through here, Gamora. I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Oh, oh that's it. I'm going in. Oh, get it. Blow up the statue, save Drax, and get out of here. Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, Don't no! Do... I'm done with all the riddles! Don't mm -hmm. not, not do whatever you Let's already did! Let's just hear did. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably gonna die. Ditchy or Rocket, don't! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail.
It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Sir, I... Are you smart, Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How do a gun do that? And that's how it's done. Eh, the exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, Little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never <gasps> see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> With our luck, Hellbender's goons are on the other side! Waiting to jump us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Ha! Called it! Can you save your I told you so's for when we're not being shot at? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them! Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things! You were saying? Just had to jinx us, didn't you? Hey! Anyone notice if this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? And fuck up the How far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! I don't think they're looking to make a match, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. The air seems fresher down here! Not a bad spot for a monster hangout! What do I say? It's a breathing room, Groot! They may be strong, but they're slow! Don't let Drax hear you say that! Why does everything hate us? Well, that went about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. Um, guys. I know, Little Fuzzy. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! There's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! 
just a plant plant, not a you plant. We ain't got much choice. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where are we? Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Hmm. Dear the Almighty Star Lord. Say something? Uh, nope. Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave? Rocket here, hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me, hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. You don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? Are you Groot? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets... Wait, 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 wait. <coughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So... About all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up! I am Groot. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. How long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? Eh, give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. 
Can we go back? It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to... I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. It's the sound of wet eyeballs hitting the ground. Place has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Sektar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacor. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. We can't keep doing this. What are we supposed to do? Ignore it? This isn't right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sounds. Heads up. It's more of those converted Nova guys. I'm sure of it. Save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Tough to see what happens next, Sir Groot. I only know that if we succeed in helping Green Meanie, we stand a chance. The cosmic energies will realign and a new series of possibilities will emerge. That sounds. Using. Definitely. Okay. One last time. It's fine. I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay. Look, guys. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, Mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what... 
You only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Make like a tree! on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Can't wait to take him down! Let me in! Cut him down, Groot!
get. Check it out. <coughs> Still not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Uh, can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here... She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um... Is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt! You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Hey guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. 
A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never speak. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Whoa, okay. That's a long way down. I don't think that matters here. Ladies first? Rank before gender. Please be something soft, <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Go wild! Make them hurt, Gamora! Grapple punch me! Not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie! Don't suppose you want to lend a hand! You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. He said no! Yeah, I got that one! Thanks! At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered! It's like it can't be filled! As far as Drax is concerned, he's walking his hands! You're giving in to poor Greeny's obsession. Only by letting go can you move on. Abandon the obsession! Is that supposed to mean something to us? Peter! Can't just keep this up, can he? Can we? Next time, I can't. Peter? Whoa! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's what I couldn't see! <sighs> Hey, we ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. 
Are you so keen to usurp your father, little one? <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you, little one. On a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see me? Your friend me? is too far fallen to be willed back by words. There's... There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here, it is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! This one can't us anymore. What flock are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that? Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Shut! I cannot contain it! Time to shred up! Rocket! Safety's off! 
You think these things were in us too? Cease this charade! Not good. Clark in nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! Hobo wizard. Alright, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or... Whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. And you can't pay me for both dead. Mantis! A little help here! Ow! Rocket! I tried pinching myself. You and your- There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech- Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. I hold that. The most fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camarion. My innocent little Camarion. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with... the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. Shall love 
and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Your quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's clear this is at least a little bit your fault. My contrition is clear. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it... Want complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. 
Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Our echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find it? What are you... What's going... Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Think. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. 
I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? I'm kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentus. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? No! No? I don't know what you want from me, man, but I'm not about to bend over because you throw up the entire extended thesaurus. I see. An antagonistic but appreciable argument. Seems you possess a spine after all. Your will may make up for your infantile frame of thought. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. So? How is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo?
Hey, Gooch. Did you reach Cosmo? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me to thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki. Peter? Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and clear to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Push down the front! The power of the light! String them up, crew! Rip them a new one! Do your thing, Devora! Sam! I love playing Zappa Zealot! Stop that weirdo's deserve it! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear, because I'm gonna kill them for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Ska! 
What? Cosmos Towers shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dark. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's back hunters, like it was nothing. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! But so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hell's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum. Let's keep it down. They don't know we're here. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodus about these adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should find a way over to check. What? Why me? Ain't you the leader of this outfit? I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Peter! Well, that didn't work. I'm going in. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. <laughs> I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyway? You were doing fine without him. Nearly I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us, and he's got a pretty good reason. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. The Cortex could handle that on its own. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic, if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? She's not garbage. Behold! 
Light! The power of the Light! Via Magnati! Sick. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? No, of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister, if I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa, what? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his retacking hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nutjob cult leader? Yes. Intro 
coming! Run him through! Lay on the hurt! Baker doesn't know what he's in for! I will make him choke for his lives! Contraption cannot predict our merciless unity! Branch no. out, crew! Why are there so many of them? This is nothing compared to some battles I have fought! Missile! Why do they have this many goons? With access to the Cortex? Who knows how many reserve forces they can bring in here? We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. You know? Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. So, Gamora... Are you... <laughs> how am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, dead ahead. Let's book it. How is not the target? <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Right into that one! These deluded souls do not know what is next, Peter Quill! This'll work! We can leave!
leapfrog our way back onto the bridge. Leapfrog? It's a... Just follow my lead. This has got my name on it. Guys, huddle up! What a bunch of losers! Me and Groot, we win this in our sleep. Thanos used to time me in fights like this just to make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, one little mistake is gonna bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream! Who's with me? Die, scene! Yes! Feel this! We're sitting ducks! You are on the coast counts! He means we can't stay here! On this we are agreed! Fix that, Cuckoo Nova Cormac! <laughs> Fuck it! Well, two movie cops now! Music to my ears! But Any ideas? I have seen a sign! Being shot at ain't enough of a sign! I am referring to the billboard! Perhaps it can be cut loose! Stay away from the edges! I gotta get close to get over! Just once I'd like to cross this bridge without incident! You can thank Goldie for that! The Warlock saved us from certain death! Scary <laughs> Razor in his little light show! It's oh, all you, Gamora! Toss him around! Destroy! Make sure you don't fall off! Make sure those snipers don't hit you either! Rocket! Fireworks! Take a time out! It's too quick! We can all get a piece if we force him to land! Prepare for pain! Stay away from the edges! I'll lay down some cover fire to get you across! The Rhapsodist will tell tale of our battles here! Is that like a Katathian minstrel? That Novacore dude was bonkers! <laughs> Quill's killing Luffy Finally, Pops now! Think they're Music giving up. to my ears! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh... Right below us. Must suck to be a celestial head, just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet, and then parasites move in... We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with my blades. I did see a floor directly below this one. I ain't seeing no hatch or nothing. That's one way down. The best way. They're still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. Mama boom, baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on him. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Are you kidding? After the fit you threw last time? This ain't like the last time. You all... I trust you guys. Leave this to me! <laughs> Whoa! That was a you are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We don't have to worry about that because we will stop it. 
More specifically, I'm gonna make Raker eat my element guns. Perhaps shooting him would yield better results. And then we're gonna bring my daughter home and that's... That's what worries you. One problem at a time. How dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed, I promise! Get away from my dog! Bombs away, Rocket! Now's your chance, Gamora! Having fun preying on the weak? Why does the dog not mind blast them? I don't think he's in there no more. Oh, oh, wow! Yeah. Remind me not to piss off the roof! Yeah. Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? We need to focus on taking it down! Hold fast! I will enjoy this! One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <sighs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's beautiful. Cosmo knows, knows never, never lie. lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo Smil? Of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. In cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. Way more than that. This place is special. I am Groot. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us, like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's, it's about, about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss.
this be in someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But... Humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fictionalize. That's it, buddy. You tell them! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family. We protect it all cost! Sick him, boy! Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attack and scratch snatchers. Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Yep. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We picked up a job from a Signog at Mantlos while you were off looking for the mutt. What job? The less you know, the better. Earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. She knows what she's doing, or... Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. Yuck. I am so done with brains in the Universal Church of Crap. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is owing bullshit here. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church dudes between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security where his pups are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pups too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy.
Those poor goons got brain security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. You know that. I have seen them. Many times. Whoa. Ah! Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yep. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. Hey Groot, think you can get me up there? I'm Groot. Right about there. This seems important to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? Scoping? This place smells weird. Brains. Go sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and... I don't know, something else. Real. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Catathian slug. You, uh... Okay, Rocket? No. I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. Come on. This place isn't the only dive bar in the galaxy. We'll find another. You don't get it, Quill. Me and Groot met here. My first arrest was here. There ain't no replacing nowhere. I, I hunger. For battle? I did not eat on the ship. There's plenty of brain tissue to go around. It can wait. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex. We'll blow it up if that's what it takes. We're dealing with power we've never seen before. No way we'd survive that. I will do it, while the rest of you flee. It would be an honor. You don't know nothing about explosives. And this is Flarkin nowhere, man. I ain't blowing up nowhere. Or any of them. Here they come! Soon to be one less! Now! Rock getting real sick of these skiffs bringing more goods! Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. Over here. Guess we're climbing brains again. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Just watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scuts soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. All right. Easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the Bug Lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? After kicking Raker's butt, I wouldn't be surprised if Warlock finds us. That still leaves Mantis. We'll have the Cortex by then. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump back to Lamentis. Careful. Gets a little... Whoa, 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 whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this! Surprise, no. Scott Flockers! Stop the short, Groot! Sick of tracks! The more a slice of homos there! Put through this! About market time! Move away, Rocket! Don't forget, we're a team! Coordinate! Training room, Groot! Is the whole church here? Their focus should be divided between here and the Mendes, right? Rock it! Do your thing! Let's show them they met 
with the wrong freaking team! You'd think they'd have learned their lesson by now! We see Raker in there! He's mine! Don't be mad if I accidentally put a- Good riddance. Now the true battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Whatever they're up to with the Cortex, it stops now. This is nowhere. Our nowhere. Destin right. Let's show these Flartnards the door. I'll show them my blade. It will be a glorious battle. We are with you, Peter Quill. Everyone quiet. What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Lock and load, Rocket! Can't believe they strapped her to a fucking machine! It must be necessary to bring them out of the fulfillment! We disrupt their ritual! They will do anything to stop us! Let him try! Danger close, Rocket! We need to get Nikki out of there before it kills her! Priest is pumping faith into the others! Oh, and he will suffer for it! Get back in there, Tiger! Next round's on me! Gonna kill Ranger for using a child like this! That did something! Look at the head! Alright! One down, three to go! Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? 
first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. <laughs> Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Daston Sacro Scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Herculis system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. They're not getting away this time. Power down, power down. How the flark are we supposed to fight that? Yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have. Oh, come on. I don't think they're with the world mind anymore. <laughs> Cops flying next to pirates, merchant vessels, military. Anybody you would have fought back's already here. Playing for the wrong team. Well, can't say we didn't try. Mickey's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. Could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am Groot. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? This beast cannot operate a ship. That's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. 
Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the Gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, well, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. Groot ain't going back in a cage. No, no think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that you'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach Lufour! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Mach 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Quill parks, anyways. <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta 
find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. Heldagor Morgoth, Soltas Flounder. So thradjutud Luke. Heldagor Morgoth, Soltas Flounder. Targoth Gornot Cole, Volm. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit witches, it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me, or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no Foom Poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those kings. Legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. Watch out! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mark the Floor, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die. No one's dying. We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? <sighs> Maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Looks like a dead end. Glorious dead end. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be our last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. <coughs> Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You <coughs> can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead. Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories? That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so, how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foom? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here to find purpose, didn't they? To reach Ultath. Our talk on nowhere. They were paying attention. Of course. Many would have been traitors or criminals, truly bound for Sarduth. Some were diseased, or dying. Coming all the way out here, wounded and taking on the meanest monsters in the galaxy? They got my respect. And soon we shall have theirs. This place has way too many caves and crevices. Okay, team. We got no right going after this bank boom. Well said, Peter Quill. Make them hurt, Gamora! Get the training room, Groot! Rip them off, Drax! Yeah, well, the planning isn't gonna make it any shorter. Look out! These things all screw it, too! Round them off, Groot! Like a walking pile of people! So let's pop it already! Time for the new one! Yeah. 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 
in by food. We must first prove our worth. Yes! Now bring on Fin Fang Foom! Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I figured. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Fooms, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? Come on, it's not so bad. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks... Ah! Ah! Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? You mean our quarantine zone bust? That was not the Great Hunt. Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well... Everyone get ready! There's something up ahead! Fork! Way too <laughs> close! They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Oh, it's Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Well played, Kakaranthara! Careful! That's deadly gas. How do you know? Hello? She's an assassin? I bet she's gassed all kinds of famous people. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh-huh. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Boom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for the kid. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket, are you just deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me no more. Uh, uh, we're we're we count our glory for generations! Try to die! Make quiet. sure they emphasize how great I was! <laughs> Loving the initiative. So Drajo to Glog. So Drajo to Glog. Heldag or Morgas. So it has thunder gas. Sharp! Very, very sharp! <laughs> This is nothing compared to the legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Foom. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead! Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Loving the murdering spirit, just keep in mind not everybody out there is hostile. It could just be a settlement. That's a dangerous assumption, especially now when everything hinges on us pulling this off. Right. And we're definitely gonna hand Raker his ass and get Nikki back. But then, afterward, we're also gonna have to find a way to get back to normal. This is my normal, Peter. Trust me. Right now you need me in murder mode. Just... save some of it for the real bad guys? Maybe dial it back to a high seven for now. Hmm. Maybe a low nine. Come on. So 
Kraju to Knuk, Helda Gomagat, Soltat. Boom! It's boom! Yes! Or going, keep Just going! Keep going, keep 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 going! Keep Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Wendigo! Flark! It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. sound a little irritated. No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Ah! It burns! Brute <laughs> says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. I imagined Foom would sense our arrival, rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Unlikely. We did kick the crap out of that ugly dweller thing. And spanked both blood brothers. Groot says those plants deserve it. With all these exceptional beasts, it is a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home here. A little cold for Lady Skull Suit. Drax seems to be doing okay. The Catathians have adapted to survive long, harsh winters. And blistering, brutal summers. <laughs> no, our summers are quite mild and pleasant. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. But we are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. Wendigo! That's what I thought. Keep it up. I'm actually starting to get warm. Another plant falls to Captain Heatglob. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Let's him rock it! Find another snack, buddy! I think they just want to play! You know, to death! Call you, Drax! Let us finish this! Why can't we ever just meet a nice local 
We do tend to attract a strange sword! Hold them down, crew! No doubt these pieces serve as sustenance for food! Good! Then we're depriving him of a meal! Rip him a new one! Slash him, Gamora! No wonder they're grumpy! Living on this hunk of ice! Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. for not holding a grudge! an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But we're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Wooltop's field Bring must it wait. On! Let loose, Rocket! What is next, Peter Quill? Gamora, run him through! He's woozy! Yeah. Time to hit him! You don't have to ask me twice! We killed their leader. They should leave us alone now. Or seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, Groot, give me a boost. I am Groot. Up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. Still got some things to pack up. You gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. 
Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraction isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. But it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. Whoa! Hey, Keith, the ice is amplifying our water. takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Guys, come on! We ride a dragon! Ride. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our mettle! Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Groot's worried about the ice. If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. Lockwood 4 is said to have a frozen core. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
Space Captain Heat Quick! Well, he's stuck in the ice! Watch the claws! I intend to do more than just watch! We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... The Dragon Lord of Kakarantara!
Fate has finally brought the two of us together. Lord Foom. <laughs> Final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another. No, though I can kind of see Enough. That Let's go! Yes! The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day! After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa, makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blow. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. And yes, I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. 
First, I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath? You faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well... I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. All right, not stuff. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. fleet looks twice as big now. Wrong. It is at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Let's 
find a place to park. Our deception is working. I sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of a nice thing in Burnery Street. We're busting into Sacrosan. That landing base are way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Fire! Got a piece of that guy! Boom! Ha. Direct hit! Try not to get shot, Quill! Flying, this sucks! Damage report. Stop getting ahead and there won't be no damage. Useful, thanks. My blades are useless out here, Peter Quill! Took the words! Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should... Two arms! The enemy approaches! Get inside a warlock! Yeah! My tracker's showing gold, but in the center of the for me! We gotta get out of this hangar! Tell them that! Come on! Run him through! Defender's entrance was quite the spectacle. Churchies must have been praying to escape. Whoa! Watch the language! Slice it, dice! Must have been praying to escape! 
now? That's a tricky question, with a lot of answers, Sky Guy. How can we be certain they have not found a way to convert the Warlock? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned Warlock, he would have been here to greet us. Just no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! Don't eat you people soon! I'm already here, Mantis! Ah! They hide for me! Celestial Madonna sends her greetings. Drash! Kick their butt! Hey guys, taking a knee! Can't tell if they feel pain, but I know when they feel dead! These fanatics only understand violence! Three lessons over here! These people fight without fear. They have fully embraced the promise. And there's millions more where they came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Doors flarked. Scott, we need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Okay, okay, sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't. There's your chance! At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano. I believe the insect witch will prove quite capable as a pilot. Bush down the smart bombs! Wrap them up, bud! this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Into it. Yep, signals coming from somewhere inside that giant freaking rock. Yeah, 
Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters. Enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Okay, we got this. Come, test your metal. Show them some muscle! We are still at right distance from the church's altar. We're still tracking Warlock. Don't worry. Throw that tracks! Another crazed number four soldier down! Had to be done! Fucking low, Dragon! Give us a choice. Not to be insensitive or nothing, but there's something very, very wrong with that kid. I'll take care of it. Even if it means... I'll take care of it. Any bets on what's down there? No. Better than being exposed up here. Guys, it's not too late to surrender. We will not surrender. Lost them. Just drop your blasters and we'll call it even, okay? Get the point! That warrior is filled with strength! Stand back! Pull him down hard! Yup! Get on the flat base! He don't shoot the freaks while they're redirecting fire! The priest is boosting his gun! Probably should have asked if anybody was down here before sliding in. I like them better on for luck. They surrendered. We made a compelling argument. And we beat them mercilessly. Half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall. That would be very, very bad. Maybe we should keep moving? I would like to leave this enclosure. I cannot see the battle. You mean you might miss a peek at Lady Hellbender? And Fin Fang Foom. Do you think Foom holds a grudge? We bested him in his own lair. He will forever recognize us as his superiors. Yeah, well, he's Lady Hellbender's pet now, and she does hold the grudge. That is true. These things are built like freaking Terminators! No, we will be there, Terminators! Run them through! as venerable as it is large! We must break it! When I get near, the Centurion flies away! We need to take him in for force landing! Turn one of the watch out space cops! Got him! There better be a way through here because we ain't going back! Priorities, Rocket! Mid 
Let's up! Pulverize them! music back, Quill. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. Ah, careful, it's still hot. You gotta get through this. I got this. Back into a hole. Great! You like holes. Not these ones. We survived this. We should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Yeah. Are you kidding? She's awesome. Mean, but awesome. Brutes a no. So that's three no's and two wrong answers. The no's win. A fair vote. I will concede. Incoming! Oh. Oh. <laughs> now that was unexpected. Uh, fortune favors us. We were not sucked into the lethal void. Unless Raker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah. As long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we will see you Ultaf. Correction. I will see you Ultaf. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you believe in. But I will ask if there is room for you to find you. This is it. We're almost there. Is that you in there? Da. Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing nowhere. Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privet, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone. Until he is biting on your ass. Burr! He's such a good boy. Yet, Cosmo is best of boys. Burr! Burr! Now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams. This is sweet. And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. We should keep moving. We are moving. Well, we should be doing it faster. 
Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Grand Unifier again. We'll stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. What was that? is way stronger in here. We're getting close. Something tells me Raker's cronies won't make this easy. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring your watch and we'll let you go. Man, listen. Put down another fanatic! Having fun praying on the weak? Well, come back, Miss Peter Quill. And you attempt to reason with them as well. It won't work. Just put them down. Rocket! Go wild! Carve him a new one! Watch the sidelines! Lots of nooks and crannies in here! Anybody who tries to get to me can get the blade to the throat! Let's keep pushing. The signal's pinging from deeper in the mines. Well, we ain't making that jump. Peter's got this. He does? Peter Quill possesses the magical weapons. Got a comb? Peter probably does. Why? For the fancy parade they're gonna throw us once we finish this. Don't want to look mangy or nothing. Your safety inspectors, present your documents and we will judge their accuracy. Next, you gotta do it fast, like so. Safety inspectors, slam! You fail! Slam! You have failed your safety inspection. They're dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. Rocket, you sure Warlock is in here somewhere? Unless he ditched the tracker, yeah. This old workbench is kind of crusty, but I do some of my best work with crusty tools. What the? Hey, look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've got to be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Let's push through this, people. Don't want to keep the Golden God waiting. Wipe them out, Rocket! Ruth, slow them down! Come on, cut them down! Let loose, Ray! Giant Psycho Robot Factory! I hit them all at once! They're exhausting! Scott, that power's from in box! Droid is also a sizable threat! Let's unplug them one by one! We'd better find Riker soon, or this is all pointless! The Warlock will guide us if we find him! 
That did it! Now just rinse and repeat on the other one, and we're in! down to gold cheeks. Make sure you grab on good. The drone, not the cheeks. Grand Unifier. Scott, everyone down! Finally come to confront the captive, castigate him for how far he's fallen. Just shut you mouth for once! A clear shot. Don't! We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up on the very eve of our ascension. To what? Take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our god was dead. And with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that- You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You are nothing but a husk, a faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker! Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess. Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past. Daughter of Thanos, soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. Drax completely bought into the promise, and we got him out. I would have remained with the ghosts of my family, had you not. Magus kept the Katathian killer cap. I am good. Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! Rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily.
My lady, push through your pain! Fulfill the promise! Monster! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Oh, come on, Nikki. <laughs> None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh, no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No, I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. The projector? What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others. Great! The gift. Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember the artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Laura? Guess that answers my question. All that's left is the projector. Okay, Nick, what if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. But if we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. 
yeah, but not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no, find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm not a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents. Whatever it is, it's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. With you. I'm sorry, Nick. No! Mom will still come. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Okay, it's fine. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything. Mom was gonna come in and, and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. No, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know I'll call him when I see one. This isn't about you. You're right. I'm not gonna pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like... empty. 
and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one like your mom. She really, really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... If it had just been different... She'd still be here. can reject the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults? It's not the galaxy-eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. But there's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. She was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned.
crap. We ain't getting through that. We have to, or Golden Boy's toast. Focus on Raker's fan club. Before you, your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. 
<laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and mass is await. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in. Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. There you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Me delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> you, Rose. Uh, I, uh... Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. Remember anything about what happened here? Galactic scale party. No expenses spared. Pretty tacky, though. And way too loud. Wait, is that Drax the... It is simply Drax. And that... By Halla, that's Gamora! Celebrity guests, you missed a legendary performance. What?
still simply fabulous. Come on. Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. But that thing attacked my mom and me. It was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six! It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus! Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly! Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new I By deal. doing what you do best, Guardians. <laughs> No, nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating me. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> Do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? Marking you, idiot. What? Ah! I said kneel! Oh, are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yeah. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Today, I am the destroyer! Let's... Hey! 
More of those, uh, things! Rocket! Blast them! So I guess what we just celebrated early. That lady in the cosmic flow is the best kind of celebration! <laughs> Such dimwit grit. Why not just submit? The stone! You must use the stone! He's still too far away. Seems like he's hanging back on purpose. What are you waiting for, Quill? Say something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats. Cat, bat, muskrat, man. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously. How is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Pat! Bad! Splatty splat splat! Splatter man! You begin to annoy me. It's what we do! Combat! Format! Diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense! Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit! And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates! Okay, pretty sure we derailed them. He's doing the planet thing! Nikki, you ready to save our butts again? Just be careful. Hey, I'm the one with cool powers now, remember? It's definitely growing on me. I don't say it enough, so I'm just gonna say it. I fucking love you guys! Everyone good? Well done, child. Okay, I definitely think we're getting to him. We just gotta hold out a little longer. This is where I make it unfair. <laughs> Yo! When in doubt, shoot it in the face! Just keep him the shot away from me! Pure Sooner or later, Everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Now, Star Guy! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone! I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! We have business cards! And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very... He's gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? 
The important thing is that he did it. You called it. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like, over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. He says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis, the chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for... All the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, none other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You can play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom. And maybe a bathroom, and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide... parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably gonna be just, uh... It'll be fine. Come on. I mean, if you can handle Raker and the Magus, pretty sure you can handle a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little guidance here, some homework there, throwing a few vegetables. 
Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Oh, wow, uh... They have good qualities. I mean, Drax is fearless, and he's been a dad. Groot, he's, he's compassionate and protective. Rocket can teach her about crawling into things in Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. She knows about honor and discipline and, and... Girl stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so even if you don't have what it takes by yourself, you're not by yourself! <laughs> and you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you gotta wing it every step of the way. <laughs> My man. What's happening? We appear to have lost power. Sounds like a Nova Corps disabler. Uh, you guys paid your fine, right? Oh, fuck! Uh, I am 